Hi everybody, it's me again, it's Sally Roper from Ocherias in Jamaica. There's something that I wanted to uh, talk to you about with regards to my unloading that I just videoed. And um, I didn't have the uh, products in hand, so I decided to uh, split this video. Anyway, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about hard panning. I have uh, bought, I buy all my glazes in dry form because I'm not bothering to ship things to Jamaica and pay the weight for water. So I mix all my glazes here. And one of the things I did was I bought um, marigold, lavender, snow, aqua, sky, and weeping plum. I bought all those um, in, in um, 10 pound pails and uh, mixed them all. And all of them were really great, uh, except the lavender. And what happened with my lavender is it hard panned. And I would say if my bucket was, uh, was this deep, probably that much of it was hard panned. Um, I wrote uh, to Amico and they gave me some solutions, but unfortunately the products that they need me to get to uh, rectify it, I can't get in Jamaica. And uh, so I either have to ship them to somewhere in the States and wait until I go to the United States and pick them up or whatever. But fortunately, about three weeks ago, I came across um, John Britt's video on flocculation and deflocculation. And if you are having trouble with any of uh, that, with your glazes being too thin or too thick, this is the video for you. Um, I unfortunately can't show you the, the uh, hard pan product because I've already dealt with it. But anyway, uh, what I did was I poured off the excess water and, uh, and then um, the hard pan glaze inside, it took a little time, but probably took me about a half an hour to um, get the rest of it out and break it up into small pieces. And, uh, and so I needed to um, deflocculate. So uh, I have ADD and flocculation and deflocculation. I get them mixed up all the time. And uh, to tell me what product to use for which, I will also get those mixed up. And uh, as much as I try to remember, it just gets muddled in my brain. But the way I've been able to uh, remember it is if you imagine a flock of sheep. So a flock of sheep, they all come together. That's flocculation. Deflocculation is when they just spread out. So one of the products that is uh, commonly known for deflocculation is Darvan 7. Um, I was at a pottery store in Victoria, Canada when I was up there this summer. And the store uh, owner recommended that I get Darvan 811 is better for um, deflocculation. So what I did was um, I used Darvan 811 and um, my, my method of reconstituting my glaze was to pour the water that I had poured off, poured that back into the bucket. I took the chunks and and squish them and mush them until everything was fairly liquid. But even as I'm doing that, it was trying to hard pan and trying to settle down. So what I ultimately did was I added, um, I poured some of the Darvan 811 into, um, into a little creamer and I poured in a little bit at a time and, and it just, it, it was miraculous. It, it, uh, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. Um, and um, be careful not to add too much because then you're gonna run into trouble. But anyway, I added a little bit at a time. Um, when I say a little bit, I'm not even talking about a teaspoonful. Um, some, in, depending upon the size. Now remember, I'm dealing with a, a, uh, a 10 pound pail. Uh, so was that a one gallon pail of, um, of, no, probably more than a gallon, uh, probably two gallons worth of glaze. So, um, Anyway, I mixed all that up and it was loose and, uh, and, and thin and nice. And I said, okay, uh, let me let that sit overnight and we'll just see what happens in the morning. So when I came back in the morning, the particles were suspended. Um, they didn't hard pan, but my product was still very loose. And um, anyway, I decided that I also had some Epsom salts at home, and in John's video, he talks about Epsom salts, making an Epsom salt solution, and he gives you the recipe. Um, and, uh, and then he, um, he 
poured some of it in and you can you can watch the glaze thicken up so I did that and um, so Epsom salts I just bought plain old Epsom salts and I diluted it as per her measurement his mess her measurements his measurements um, into some water I diluted it into into water now some will say dilute it until the crystals no longer uh, dissolve which means that your water is saturated with Epsom salts I just went by um, by John's um, uh, measurements and I think it was like two tablespoons to um, um, a cup of water something like that but anyway um, I reduced it down to just like half a cup and so I uh, the next day I poured a, a very tiny amount of the uh, Epsom salt solution into my glaze and I could see it starting to bind and to thicken up and I went oh this is just absolutely wonderful and um, so anyway, uh, end result was in this firing, I did a test tile to a glaze that I was ready to throw out the bucket because I just didn't know how I was gonna deal with it to now having a bucket of usable lavender glaze. This is my test tile. Um, this is a, it's just dipped in, held for probably two seconds. And then I brought it out and uh, this is it on the non-textured non side. So I am, I am thrilled to bits in, uh, in, um, in the result of, of what was a bit of a disaster for me. Again, living in Jamaica, I don't have access to all the tricks of the trade and all the tools and, and uh, chemicals and, and products that you can use to do a lot of things. So when I find something that works, this works. So it was really simple. Again, Darvan 811 is a deflocculant and it makes the it makes a thick glaze very loose and uh, John also talks about not adding water so a lot of people when you have a thick glaze even your Amico glazes that you get in the jars that are really really thick don't add water he says uh, that affects the drying the drying and and you'll probably end up getting cracks when they when the glaze dries because uh, it's no longer a good fit for your pots so try a couple of drops when I say drops I mean it and you can always add more it's hard you, you can't take it away so um, Darvan 7 or Darvan 811 uh, again 811 was recommended for me for uh, the dipping glazes and uh, and um, so you want to you want your um, your glaze to become more more liquidy thinner I guess is the better word and then Epsom salts to make it thicker. Epsom salt solution. You don't put in Epsom salts. You make a solution with water, and you uh, and you put that into your glaze, and uh, and that might uh, might save you a little bit of money. So I hope you found this out this very helpful. As I said, I was um, uh, I was uh, happy to stumble on on John's video. Um, if you go into his um, uh, onto his YouTube channel, you'll find, you just have to search down for it, but you'll find uh, where he talks about flocculation and deflocculation and uh, thinning and thickening your glazes to the consistency that works for you. So thank you all very much for uh, joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, thankfully, it didn't rain. And, uh, and I'm just going to go enjoy the rest of my Sunday, and I hope you do too. Thanks a lot, everybody. Bye-bye.